tonight, um, it's actually not a new moon, unfortunately. I missed it by a couple days, but this was the soonest I could get out. We've got some really clear skies, so I am on my way to Strawberry Reservoir. It seemed like a good night for it because tomorrow's Labor Day and I'm off, so I figured why not. And it's going to be kind of a, a shakedown cruise in a way. I'm going to Hawaii in a week and I plan to do a lot of shooting there. Um, I don't know that I'll be able to really get any Milky Way stuff because it's going to be past the new moon and Oahu has a lot of light pollution. So I'm not too hopeful on that. But just in case the opportunity presents itself, I do have some uh, new gear that I want to test out and see how this works. My main camera for shooting the Milky Way is a Canon 6D, the, the original 6D, not the Mark II. I've had problems with it in the past with getting a sharp focus, because of course, middle of the night, shooting the sky, everything is, is manual focus, and I use a, a Rokinon 14 millimeter lens, which is, it's a decent lens. I've gotten some pretty good stuff with it. But it's just, my 80D is a lot easier to focus than the 6D. So what I'm doing, I recently picked up a uh, 2019 13 inch MacBook Pro. I think, actually I did a video about the unboxing. I'm going to tether the camera to the laptop so that I've got that bigger screen and use the Canon um, utility app, whatever it's called, I can't remember. I think it's called EOS Utility. But I'm gonna use that to do a live view while tethered between the laptop and the camera and check focus that way. That way I've, I've got a big screen to look at it on and go from there and then probably shoot for two to three hours. I'm not sure yet. I've got a 128 gig card in the camera and I've got the, um, I've got a battery grip attached with two fully charged batteries in it. So I, I could shoot most of the night if I wanted to, but I've got some car repair to work on at home tomorrow, so I can't be out all night. Though it could be cool to, to do a, a sunrise shoot up there. And I've, I've never actually been to Strawberry Reservoir. I've lived in Utah for over 20 years, never been. So this will be my first time. And part of the reason I picked that location is it's only about an hour drive from my house. It's got clear skies, big lake. Uh, I'll be facing southwest for the shoot and I'm going to be on the northeast side of the lake. So hopefully I can get some uh, reflections of the Milky Way in the lake. And it just seemed like a cool place to try. So that is where I am headed. Headed up through Provo Canyon now. I have done a little bit of shooting in Provo Canyon, but I probably need to come back up here and try to get a sunset or, or something. It's just a really, it's a really pretty area and very scenic. So I'll have to, have to come try that one of these nights. I probably should have left like two hours ago so that I could be on location and get all set up while there was still some daylight, but what are you gonna do? Okay, I am on the north end, see the northeast corner of Strawberry Reservoir right now. I've actually already got the camera out there set up and shooting. I'm just using a single Genie Mini 1, and I've got it set to rotate about 15 degrees per hour, and I think I'm going to let it shoot for about four hours. Um, set to ISO 6400. I've got the white balance on tungsten, just because I feel like for Milky Way stuff, that gives me a good start. And I'm running a 20-second shutter on a 25-second interval. So that should be enough time for the camera to fire, record the, uh, record the image to the card, and then for the genie to rotate and then take the next shot. So that should work out pretty well. I feel like I've got the focus dialed in pretty good. I tried something new 
So I mentioned before that I was bringing my laptop and I was going to tether it to the camera. That seemed to actually work out pretty well. Uh, luckily there was a, a fence post I could set the laptop on. So I need to work out something else for holding the laptop for doing this type of a setup. But uh, that seems to have worked out decent. And here's an, ex here's an example. This is the, uh, the last shot I took before I started the Genie. So I still had the laptop connected to the camera, pulled it into Lightroom. I did do a little bit of tweaks to it to try to bring out the color of, of the Milky Way a little bit more. Uh, but not, not too bad. A little bit of noise, because I am running 6400, but not, not too bad. I'm, I'm really starting to like the 6D. And yeah, you're a little limited, because it is an older camera. It came out, I don't remember the year, but I want to say like 2014, something like that. Um, it's only a 20 megapixel. It's not a 24 like my 80D, but it's low light performance is way better than my 80D. So really happy with that. So we'll let this run for a few hours. And uh, in the meantime, I guess I'll just read a book.